great performance by uh, uh, Robert Gardner. I appreciate it very much. Uh, I've had the privilege just last week of doing a light building yeah. program up in uh, the convention center, Boy and Mama. 1,200 men showed up. All right. And yeah. there was a tremendous, tremendous uh, outpouring of the Spirit of God there. Uh, I'm grateful that I had a chance to share my testimony before those men. And, uh, you know, it, it, it had a great impact. Yeah. It really did. And uh, it's something I'm not proud of to get that testimony about. The Lord saved me 39 long years ago. Well, I'll be 27. As a matter of fact, I'll be 39 years in the Lord. May 13th, I'll be 77 years old, by the way. And I thank God for the privilege to be after 15 years in a federal prison many years ago and uh, be involved in a lot of crime, organized crime, and uh, going through uh, so many different uh, crimes in my lifetime uh, that I don't want to today, but the deliverance and the power of God, how real it really is. Yeah. I say this to anybody, if you want to change, you can change. Amen. But That's you've right. got to make an effort to change. That's right. That's right. We go into the prisons, I tell them the same thing. I don't go to call them. I tell them, you want to change, you can change, but you got to change in your heart first. Because that's where it starts. It starts in the heart. It doesn't yeah. start here. It starts in the heart. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we've had great results in the prisons as well. Uh, we're leaving right at the end of June. Right, we're doing a revival here, by the way. Praise right. God. And then right as we leave there, we're uh, going across the country. We hope to take in 49 more stops after that. Praise the Lord. And uh, with the help of the Lord and praying to God that many souls will get saved this year again on that road. I thank God that I got delivered out of prison. I thank God that most of all, I got delivered out of hell. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's right. more important than anything. Yes, it's not so important that you preach. It's not so important how many souls get saved. But the most important thing you could ever decision to make in your lifetime is your decision and your relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 I want to welcome all our visitors today. Yes. Uh, we have quite a few, and so at the end of the service we'll acknowledge you a little bit more, but we do appreciate you coming out. And uh, if you've made it this far, you'll be fine the rest of the service. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. 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 So some people say we're a little strange, but that's all right. <laughs> I just whispered to James while we're sitting up here in the... Ladies were up there, and, and uh, the dancers were up there praising God and rejoicing and shouting. I said, well, if they find this uh, difficult, they're going to have a hard time in heaven because it will be a lot more joyful and exciting and Amen. loud yes. in heaven than it yes. is here on earth. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, hallelujah. It is Resurrection Sunday morning, and we thank God that he did come out of the grave. Amen. I don't know about Easter bunnies. I don't know about uh, Easter eggs. Uh, I do know about them, and I don't want to know any more about them. But uh, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, not a bunny and an uh, egg. Amen. Uh, so... Today, we are celebrating the fact that Jesus Christ gave his life for us at Calvary, and death could not hold him. Hallelujah. So I want to talk to you this morning about what effect the cross has on you, the effect of the cross. Turn with me, if you would, if you have a Bible, John, the second chapter of John.